Okay guys, it's the next day. I think we're gonna try starting it again, but we had some leakage overnight, so I stuck this pan here to catch that oil leak, and it's still been seeping from the oil level oil level sensor. I think I'll just throw this on the ground and then we'll try starting it again and see what we get. I'm gonna fix that later today with this fuel tank. I guess it repairs fuel tanks. Just some JB Weld stick, steel stick. So I'll try that later, but let's crank it again and see what happens. I'm afraid it's an ignition issue. I really do think that's the case. Because once it gets warm, it just doesn't want to run. Just right when it gets warm. I wonder if I can repair this while well, it's full of oil. That's why I put the pan out. Get our stick. Sits in five minutes, cures in one hour. Cool, perfect. It's really sticky now. Roll it out. So I can wrap it around. So it's been like four hours. Feels pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and install it and fill it back up. While we wait for that to prove itself, I am going to test this ignition coil. So I think that's the issue for why it won't stay running. Once it gets hot, it just doesn't want to run. It's either that or it's a ignition module. I really hope it's not that. The first things first, we'll do the spark plug. We'll check on how that looks. Yeah, that's super dirty, but I can clean this up. I got the spark plug pretty cleaned up, and it looks like it's gapped to about 0 0.030 inches, so that is exactly where it should be. It's supposed to be between 2 and 3, so it's right at the end of the limit. Now let's remove this coil so we can do some tests on it. So, let's test the primary coil that's going to be between this prong and here. 
the resistance we're looking for is from 0.32 to 0.48 ohms. So, okay, so 0.32 to 0.48, that's good. That coil's good. So now we'll check the secondary coil, which is going to be between the spark plug connector and here. 2.9 kilo ohms. And it should be 5.6 to 8.5 kilo ohms. Yeah. Secondary coil is bad. 2.9 kilo ohms. Yeah, so that should be 5.68 to 8.52 kilo ohms. And it's 2.9 kilo ohms. So, secondary coil on here is bad. So I gotta buy a new one of these. Coils finally here. Ooh, that's kind of cool. All right, looks just as cheap as the other one. So, okay. Start it up. It's kind of dirty. Wait a minute. I think I have something else. Ah. Okay, it's already gapped. Looks like the old one, just cleaner. Let's check Spark real quick. Okay, spark looks good, just for fun, and because we have the spark plug out, we will check compression. It's 60, right on the 60, which I think is fine for a moped. Right? I don't know. That's so sudden. I don't understand. I think it might be this thing. I think it's when this thing gets hot, maybe. I gotta go read the service manual. Thought it was gonna run today. Got a new spark plug. Got a new coil. Ah! Unless it's a fuel thing. I'm really not sure what's wrong. Checked all my electrical stuff. Not seeing an evident issue with resistance or anything. So I think it might be fuel. Like maybe it runs and when it uses all the fuel in the bowl, then it turns off. So I was thinking I crack the bowl so it's just slowly trickling. Still dripping 
think fuel though. I just can't figure it out. The only adjustment screw I can see is this one in here. So I'll back that out a little bit. I don't know what I'm doing to the carb by doing this. But this carb was just like straight out of the box, so. I'm going in. That was all the way in. Maybe we need to back this out a bunch. Okay, let's see. It's been a while, as you can see. I'm pretty sure this whole thing comes off with just a screwdriver. Gotta take off the air box, or maybe just tilt it down. I'll do the choke, trick choke. The oil injection already popped off. I got fuel in my Mountain Dew, probably. I think I actually did. Ugh. <laughs> Vacuum. No fuel should come out unless I pull vacuum on this. Okay, that's good. That's how it should be. Got the new carb right here. Make sure it's the same. Looks exactly the same. Oh! It comes with fresh, fresh screws. That's nice. So these ones were really chewed up. I'm glad that this carb swap is so fast. Why are there two throttle cables? Oh, one's a pull. One's a return, I guess. Looks good. I think it should be good to go. Time for a start. Okay. Let's try this again. There's no spark plug in there. I doubt the bowl has any fuel in it, so we'll see if this starts. crack that bowl. Okay, now we got fuel dripping. I'm worried that vacuum line's on the wrong hole on the carb. What I'm talking about is you've got two of these things. You've got your fuel in, then you got two of these. I don't know which one's vacuum. The new one came with a little cap on there. That's just a port straight into the main intake to the engine. It just comes into the top of this tube. This goes, it looks like, down into the bowl, or like, I don't know. We'll see if it starts now. I'll move this vacuum line over. Yeah, storage is getting real hot. I don't know if it was the line. I don't know if that line was in the wrong place or if that carburetor was junk. 
but it's idling. And I think I'm gonna go for a ride. I'm sure that just shut off because it wanted to. Or because I unplugged the coil <laughs> with my bungee cord. Let's see. I just can't believe it's running. This is awesome. Where am I supposed to stand? I can't believe my moped works, this is amazing. But I have no seat, so. Currently having to sit on that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at that. Oh yes, yes. Finally. Finally, the moped runs. Oh, that was... Man, it's been like a month. It's just been gathering dust. I guess it was just a cheap carburetor, I think. I mean, it could have been those swap lines, but... I don't know. Maybe? I don't think so though. Cause I had it, I had it where it's at now on the other carburetor setup. Yeah, this thing's just a piece of junk. So, performance, brand, yeah, sure. EMSTD, I don't know who makes this. It's a blank thing. But yeah, don't buy cheap crap. I uh, cheap out too much. This new carburetor was like $20 more, and it works fantastically. Um, sweet, now we just have to put it back together. Oh, awesome, I have moped now, it's great. So, as you can see, my horn doesn't work. And at first I was thinking I'd have to diag the switch or something, but then I noticed that this wire is broken. So, all I gotta do is reconnect it to that little connector right over there. So, let's get those off and fix that. I think it just rubbed through, maybe. That should work. I never use the right crimpers. Just use vice grips. Okay, good as new. Let's see if it works. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Nice. Well, most of the stuff is fixed now. I just gotta do other things like brakes and the tire and the trim store it's still not looking pretty but yeah 